I've had the Delta Pro Ultra for about two weeks now and it's been a big upgrade from the Delta Pros. Uh, here are the top eight things that I've noticed that are major differences between the Delta Pro and the Delta Pro Ultra. Size can make all the difference and in the case of the Delta Pro Ultra, it's massive. While its predecessor was relatively portable, the Ultra is a behemoth in comparison. It's not exactly the kind of device you'll be casually lugging around. In fact, you'll probably want to keep it stationary unless you're equipped with some serious muscle or a trusty set of wheels. Let's talk USB ports. The Delta Pro Ultra may offer fewer 100 watt USB ports, but don't let that fool you. Unlike its predecessor, where USB ports were constantly flowing, the Ultra requires manual activation of its DC power for the USB usage. While this might seem like a drawback, it actually ensures more efficient power management. The Delta Pro Ultra's revamped display, unlike its predecessor, boasts a sleeker, higher quality display that eliminates that annoying light halo effect seen in the Delta Pros. Positioned at the top and angled for optimal viewing, accessing crucial information is now a breeze, unlike the Delta Pro's less than ideal placement. Say goodbye to flimsy connections and hello to reliability with the Delta Pro Ultra's chunkier low voltage input plug. The inclusion of a thick XT90 cable addresses a common issue faced by Delta Pro users where the input cable had a tendency to fall out of the unit or into the unit. With the Ultra, stability is key, ensuring your power source stays securely connected at all times. Imagine never having to second guess your state of charge. The Delta Pro Ultra bids farewell to the days of constant recalibration. Unlike its predecessor, over the two weeks I've used the Delta Pro Ultra, it seems the state of charge has always been more accurate, giving me better control over the power usage. Listen closely, or rather, don't. Gone are the days of incessant fan noise interrupting your piece. The Delta Pro Ultra operates seamlessly even under heavy loads like 4K input from solar or 5 to 6K output from your Tesla charger. Say goodbye to the fan noise of its predecessor and welcome to the serene silence of the Delta Pro Ultra. Let's talk solar. The Delta Pro Ultra with its high voltage input can effortlessly connect and harness energy. 9 to 10 solar panels can easily generate 3 to 4,000 watts, but you also have the option of the low voltage input, which can add an additional 1,600 watts. Lastly, we have a 240 volt port that lets us do level two charging or even feed into your home via generator inlet or manual transfer switch. No longer are the days of the double voltage hub to achieve this. And so these were the top eight differences I've noticed from my two weeks with the Delta Pro Ultra. I'm very excited to get this powering our home via the Smart Home Panel 2. If you wanna watch that, I will have the videos linked and videos associated with that down below. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And I've also included the links to some of the EcoFlow items in this video. Thanks, bye.